Okay, I'm gonna show you how to um, record audio on Audio for All. I'm in <laughs> FL Studios. My bad. All right, you go there. Use Audio Audio for All. It should be able to have like a microphone input, such and such, but I can't do it because I'm having issues with uh, my software core program. And then you go to here, and then you put a noise gate. Presets, good to go. And then put Edison. And then you record. Uh, I'll just record this. Well, it's not recording for some reason. Oops. All right, noise gate. You got noise gate, and then uh, you have to make sure audio for all is enabled. But my mic's not letting me um, mic for some reason. Yeah, that's all you do. And then um, you go to Edison, record, recording. See. And then stop recording, but you will just look for mic input right here. But I, it's not letting me do that because I got I'm doing a, a voice tutorial, so yeah. And I'm having issues with that for some reason. I guess people will do it, but this is my new laptop, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> you remember memory from alert tutorials back in the day? Yeah, it's my new channel, but yeah. Remember that guy, little X? Yeah, that was me. And yeah, that's about it. And um, after that, you can just go to the playlist and drag a sample out. Like, you go here, just drag it out. See? And then you can do whatever you want, manipulate it, and then you could uh, put it in your own channel, add effects to it, and then you're good to go. And then, see what else can you do? I think you do. Mellow down on this, kind of. Yeah, I can pitch correct a sample. Right here. Put in the right key. Pitch correct a sample in the right key. Center, center it, vary it. And transition. Cut. Alright, I'm gonna disable audio for all. Yeah, so that's what you can do with your weird vocals and go. Stuff like that. <clears throat> that's one way to do it. So you have that slow, pitchy, low thing, or you go high pitched. Alright, another way to cheat for singing is you sing at a lower key. You have a pitch knob. You can pitch it. I just go higher or lower. Or you can just do it through, um, what is it, um, Adobe Audition, and there's a pitch knob. You highlight the entire vocal track, and you pitch it up, whatever semitones and whatnot. That's how, like, singers cheat. Like, they sing higher, so, yeah. So, basically, you, should, you can just probably get a so-so singer, and then, um, yeah, prob possibly um, pitch up their vocals three semitones. Um, yeah, and then you also can make fake harmonies with, um, this new tone thing. Pretty sick. Yeah, pitch correct, new tone, you can, it's the FL Studios on Melodyne. It's pretty cool. They also have, um, auto-tune. Um, I don't have it with me on here. Yeah, it's somewhere in here, but, yeah. It's pretty cool. See, you see all the keys? Change it, you can make it fatter, edit. <clears throat> but I think Melodyne's a better one. This is like, uh, 
want to be like a, a poor man's edition of Melodyne. And uh, I think Imogen, he probably used a different version of it because there's many different kind of um, pitch correction softwares out there. There's like some hard ones some, called something else. I think there's a lot. Not all of them are equal, but most famous ones are Autotune by T-Pain. He uses that a lot. I don't know why. Um, he has to sing, I guess, really horribly to get that corrected. Because like, it only corrects it when the person's um, vocals are not correct and um, if you enjoyed my tutorial please subscribe and go to my website um, I make most of my money doing stocks and um, and my and you guys clicking my ads on my blogs so please help out click it once sign up if you like the product feel free and um, yeah, thanks. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, I can teach you how to produce on FL Studios because I'm an expert at it. I've been doing it for like two to three years. And um, for music theory and composition, I would recommend you take piano lessons and uh, music theory class possibly in a college course. It could be very rigorous. Or you can learn on your own, try and write annotate and write your own melodies um, or you can subscribe to see what's that guy's name I think Leo Doran is pretty good he teaches music theory he's a pretty cool guy he's a really nice guy actually he's a music major um, most of my friends are musicians so yeah basically or just EDM people. Let's see where is this guy? <laughs> this guy sucks at Chinese. <laughs> Let's see where is Mr. Leo Dorain? Kev, this guy. He teaches music theory. Yeah, he's pretty good. And yeah, and then you can learn a lot from him. And then if you want to go advanced. Beyond that, learn how all the chords and scales relate. And don't be afraid to chop things up, the chords up, and experiment. And um, if you want to be like a famous producer, um, work really hard. Your benchmarks are silent. He's pretty good. And Skrillex, if you guys can uh, outproduce those two guys, or possibly Xcore. He's pretty good. He's at FL Studios. If you have to produce all three of those guys, then you definitely will get signed. If not, you have to promote your own music and uh, sell your own stuff on iTunes or something on your own. Because um, record labels are dead. Because um, everyone pirates music and record labels are dead. And um, possibly, if you want to be in the music industry, I would recommend uh, writing songs for movies, television, and video games. Well, it's better than nothing. You want to be a famous musician, a rock star? Promote yourself, sell your stuff on iTunes, pass out CDs, tell your friends. Be really good. If not, then you're going to be stuck with video games or just being a hobbyist musician. And yeah, he's a pretty cool guy, so subscribe to him. And um, subscribe to me if you want lessons with FL Studios, because I know a lot. Um, don't pester me a lot, cause I have a life and I don't get money off this. And uh, if you want to learn how to make money off stocks, feel free to contact me. Um, I charge twenty an hour to teach how to play stocks. I'm actually pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's see who commented me? Was this? Was this guy? Uh, the pitcher. Uh, okay. It's this random guy. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's about it. Um, my sentiments on the economy: it blows. No jobs anywhere. So I recommend uh, making money through having a website.
selling stuff, uh, recycling soda cans, and help your friends out whatever you can, cause cause uh, people are losing their values and the world is just really messed up. So just try your best.